The first leg of our adventure took us to Whitmore Point, located at the Grand Canyon, where we hiked down to the Colorado River and spent a memorable afternoon. The next part of our trip took us to Arches National Park, where we spent a relaxing afternoon enjoying the geological paradise. We then spent the next two days traversing the epic White Rim Trail, deep into the backcountry of Canyonlands National Park. Have kids? We'll explore! explore. Good morning and welcome to Moab, Utah. We arrived at camp well past midnight, so waking up to these red canyons was quite glorious. Quite a few people have wondered how we sleep five in our super Pacific camper. Let's take a look. I've used a few different stoves in recent time and finally found my perfect match, the Jetboil Half Gen with the Luna Satellite Burner. This setup is perfect for our minimalist style of cooking. Here it is, the wild overlander in his natural habitat. So Carl upgraded his yellow Jeep to a yellow John Deere. After our morning coffee, we begin making our way to Arches National Park, taking Willow Springs Road, a fun off-road trail featuring dinosaur tracks. Yeah, we can't take our dinosaur fossils away. Okay, thank you. Our little paleontologist was studying dinosaur footprints for the last two weeks. He was pretty stoked to be here. This place was amazing. I can't believe that I was standing where dinosaurs used to be. The Willow Springs Trail is so easy, my grandmother could drive. Oh, oh, there it goes. Huh, let me try again. The Willow Springs Trail is a fun, easy, scenic trail that feeds right into Arches National Park. You'll encounter some steps, sandy areas, and slick rock, but nothing a stock vehicle can't handle. Once you crest over the last hill, you get a beautiful panoramic view of Arches National Park. The double arches was an amazing sight to see. We climbed up to the base of the arch, being able to sit on a couple of ledges, providing a beautiful view of the valley containing the windows arches. Wow. How's it going? <laughs> going up is good. 
slice up here. Arches has so many cool rock formations. Like the double A, look at that one. It looks like a A highlight for me was seeing the delicate arch up close and personal. Such an iconic monument. I'm glad I survived the howling winds on the other side of the canyon. Video just doesn't do justice to Arches National Park. You have to come visit and take it all in to appreciate the full magnitude of these unique formations. Joe had his flux capacitor repaired and was able to meet us at Arches National Park. I'm pretty sure in record time too. We were all appreciative to have Joe back with the group. And of course, we closed out the night with our traditional potluck. The Ledge Group campsite is clean, spacious, has a large common area, and offers beautiful views. And Moab is only 20 minutes away. The site also has an interesting, clean, open-air toilet, which is actually quite spacious, as you can see here. Gearhead Outdoors offers free filtered water, which is super convenient for us Rick. campers. Is that beer? Now that we are geared up and fueled up, our white rim adventure begins. First up are the Schaefer Switchbacks. A 1400 foot descent into Schaefer Canyon. Intimidating, but also invigorating. The White Rim Trail officially begins where Potash Road and Schaefer Trail connect. Our first stop will be the scenic Colorado River Overlook. Have you ever heard the rattle of a rattlesnake? 
I imagined it sounding a little deeper and slower. We continue on the White Rim Trail towards Lathrop Canyon, an offshoot that takes us down to the waterfront of the Colorado River. We soon arrived at the trailhead to Lathrop Canyon. This trail is narrow, tight, and steep with some sandy patches, and it really makes you feel like you're driving on a different planet. Four miles in, we reach the Colorado River, a perfect place to have lunch and skip some rocks. Is that a rock? I'm not certain, but I think I saw the Loch Ness Monster. A second ago, he was falling asleep. But then he found his fishing rod, and now he's got his second wind. <laughs> he's like, Jeffrey's got my rear. <laughs> Fisherman pose, yeah. Leaving Lathrop Canyon, our goal is to reach camp by nightfall. But we know it won't be easy because the steep climb to Murphy lays ahead of us.
We arrived at the Murphy Canyon Range, and although this trail isn't difficult, you'll see that this section is loose, rutted, wow. and steep, and gave one of our rigs a very interesting time. Pretty sure I wasn't the only one clinching coming up the side of this mountain. And having the sun shine on us as we reached the peak was a pretty cool feeling. Our view from the Murphy A campground is simply breathtaking. Off in the distance you'll see Candlestick Tower, a 450 foot tall sandstone butte. Look closely and you'll also see the trail that takes us home. Everyone was exhausted from a long day of traveling. We pretty much lounged, had dinner, and headed off to bed. What's wrong with your yogurt, Joe? It's already mixed. It's be food on the bottom. <laughs> That's how rough our travels are. The toilet with the best view. We noticed the restroom is always in the middle of a beautiful panoramic view. Can anyone explain why?
The green line is our way to Moab, 34 miles to the end of the White Rim Trail. The only real intense section is Bighorn Canyon, which is steep, has a lot of sharp winding turns through the canyon, and lots of exposure. Thanks to Lynette for always hustling back so we don't fall too far behind the pack. Walking along the white rim. And it's amazing. Jeez. There's the Green River. We arrived at Bighorn Canyon, where the trails get narrow and very interesting. Slow and steady and four low, that's the way to tackle this section. Hey guys, look at how steep this thing is. Are we four low? Oh yeah. Yeah, once you make the turn and you start heading downhill a little bit, uh, there's a little uh, point where you can see the river. Check out that big alligator that's right in the middle of the water. It's like Joe and Rick said, like, there's a big old alligator in the middle, and it actually does look like an alligator. It's crazy. It's just hanging on.
<laughs> this segment of the White Rim Trail was flooded by the Green River and impassable just a few days earlier. We were lucky the water had receded and we were able to cut right through. Copy. The White Rim was truly an amazing two-day adventure. I actually wish we had a third day so we could slow down and explore a few more of the different offshoots. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch us on our adventure. I hope one day you will go on yours. Day five was capped off with a dinner at Zach's, ice cream for dessert, and a stroll around Moab. <laughs> I do the same thing. I don't take my eyes off of him. <laughs> I think we visited Gearhead Outdoor and had ice cream at the Spoke every day of our stay in Moab. Both are amazing establishments. What the f***? <laughs>